Sumigashi. Uh, this technique is a little bit different from the judo version of Sumigashi, although there's similarities. And uh, Mike Sensei has also begun using an Aiki Jiu Jitsu variation, which is also different. So I'll very quickly go over all three. Set these up in practice. I have two belts under the door. I'm going to have them about foot width apart. I'm standing kumikata square with my partner. Whichever of these three I'm doing, I'm always just kind of sitting, getting out of the way. If I'm facing you and I'm going to throw you, I want to get my hips completely out of the way. So I'm sitting to one side or the other. The difference between the techniques is what I'm doing with my feet. My understanding of the traditional Danzanru version of Sumigayashi is I'm actually going to catch both of the feet and then lift the legs up. Uh, one way I like to practice is I basically just step on the ankles and as I drop out of the way and then I'm going to lift my legs up, my feet and ankles are kind of catching the shins and I'm helping to lift those legs up and over. Practice that here. Up, sit, catch the belts and lift the belts up. Sit in, sit out, and lift the belts up. The judo version of Sumigashi is just is very similar, except you're only using one leg, and you're not catching the ankle, you're catching the inside of the knee or the inside of the thigh. So it's going to be the same idea, still getting my hips out of the way. As I fall, my inside leg is going to catch inside the knee or thigh and lift with just one leg. Same practice motion, lift and step in, sit out of the way, inside leg is lifting up. Lift and step, getting out of the way, inside leg is lifting up. Uh, the most common version we're using now is the uh, Sensei's Aiki Jiu Jitsu variation, which is essentially Yoko Akari. Instead of stepping just in front of the feet, I'm actually stepping past on one side, and then I drop to the other. And just lift. You don't have to lift your legs up. You're just sliding across the front of the body. These belts replicate where the feet are. I'm stepping past the outside foot with both feet. My hips are dropping all the way to the opposite side and throwing. It's a little bit more of a sliding motion. It's hard for me to do at home. But as you're going in for that throw, I'm kind of sliding across the front of the body. Both my legs go across and throw. Traditional Dazaru variation, Sumigayashi, catching those ankles, lifting both legs. The judo version, just catching the inside, knee or thigh of the close leg, lifting and throwing. The setup is the same for all three. If you want to practice it with the belts, good luck practicing sumi gashi at home.